educating fishermen in documenting resources. Lessons from Pisuna in Greenland. My name is Pavia Jacobsen. I live in Asiat in Greenland. I'm advisor to Kertelik municipality. This is the one of the municipalities in the West Greenland. Since 2009 I have participated in the Pishuna program. I would like to tell you about this. This project received funding from the European Commission through the PEST program. Challenges Climate change, rapid changes in stocks, limited dialogue between hunters, fishermen, management and researchers, minimal local involvement in managing resources. The project Opening Doors to Native Knowledge was proposed in 2009 by the Ministry of Fisheries, Hunting and Agriculture. Kaisuitub municipality was proposed as a trial area. The municipality accepted the project and started in 2010 in three communities, Agunnak, Iluliset and Kaisuit. Agunnak and Kaisuit are settlements and Iluliset is a town. Goals Optimize the management and monitoring, monitoring of living resources through intense cooperation between hunters, fishermen and managers and researchers and through increased in insolvent of locals in observing. Established locality hunters and fishermen paced monitoring and management of the resources in three settlements. One, be the dialogue between hunters, fishermen, managers and researchers. Two, strengthen it. Local involvement in monitoring resources and in management these resources within sustainable frameworks. The third, better adoption of resource utilization to change in stocks as a result of climate change. The village communities established local Pichonna natural resource councils comprised of fishers and hunters with environment interests. They decided which species and resource uses should be monitored. The members com compiled data during field visits. Every three months the fishermen and hunters discuss the status of the resources and possible management interventions for instance in Addo. I'm based in Asia trying to steer the meeting and stick to the topics. For example Addo Pishuna Council is here. Species and resource uses Biloka and narwhals, whalers, seals, polar guillemots, Ida, Can Canadian coos, lumpfish, halibut, salmon, cod, catfish, musk ox, reindeer, scallop whistles. Two kinds of Ida dogs are followed Ida from Davis Straits that are displaced each year by the west ice and the coastal ida. Meeting in a local Pichuna Natural Resources Council in Addo. Here a photo from the last meeting. You can see that everyone is looking down on a particular point. Mobile phone, I sit 85 kilometers away and I'm entering the data into the Pishuna form. 
Keeping a meeting is easy, but casuring the people is hard. We have discussed the status of natural resources in Pichuna regularly about every three months for 10 years, nearly 12 years. Eight communities have been involved, proposals for management interventions and the supporting data has, have been forwarded to the government. Finding example codes in Pichuna Nets. Pichuna Nets in computers. This has resulted in 494 management proposals. Changing in fishing and hunting seasons 146, changing in quotas 123, order change of rules and bylaws 125, facilitate trades 35, increase monitoring and research 30, current management is fine. fine. 36. Status of the management proposals. The proposals concern 90 different actions for 30 species resource uses. Most submit to the local government authority. A few submit to the central government. Outcome. Hunters and fishermen and observe observations of the resources are beginning to simply systematically documented. Observations and management proposals are available online Pisona Net. Hunters and fishermen are beginning to be listened to, but there are still challenges. Parias. Some management proposals from community members are not taken serious by government resource managers. Two, insufficient respect among scientists for the knowledge and observation of community, community members who often have no academic education but lifelong experiences is in the nature. The third, lack of an enabling government policy in support of community-based observing. That's all. Thank you.